Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Maker Box Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a PET-G from 3D X Tech. It's called Max G PET-G. So let's have a look after the intro. It says here it's a transparent xenomorph green PET-G. This made using only premium resins and colorants, and the recommended filament to print it at 230 to 260 degrees with 70 to 100 degrees on the bed. And speed is not specified by the manufacturer. And this is from 3DX Tech, and I printed a few things with this filament, and I'm gonna show you the results. So for this filament, I printed at 235 or 240 degrees. I started with 240 and went down to 235 after the first layer and here's the maker coin and it's very shiny and I love the green color it's very shiny and, and somewhat transparent you can see my finger through uh, model and the face came out really good and the letters also came out pretty good and there's no, no issues with this one and I printed this overhang test and this one came out excellent. There's almost no issues here, and, and no, no drooping, so to speak. So even at 70 degrees, it is holding up really good. And for strength wise, it's it's quite brittle. It's not very difficult to to break it, but this is printed with zero info, so it's not really printed to be a strong part. <laughs> but it's more brittle than a PLA, for sure. <coughs> and then print on Mr. Belly and he came out excellent and no issues here and it's very shiny and, and no issues and it was really easy to print with this filament and I was printing this on a Prusa K3 printer with a PI sheet and this is printed directly on the PI sheet and what I have to do is just let it cool fully before I take the parts off and here I have the Omnum by Tessa and this is an awesome model and here the shine of the filament really shows through in the face it's like a crystal <laughs> shine to it somewhat but it's really cool and also the artist by Garrett and this one is looking awesome here's a small amount of stringing but I really didn't have any issues with stringing I have sometimes issues with stringing on a patchy filament but this was a very small amount of stringing, stringing. So this was quite good. So this was just a quick overview of the Max G Petty from 3D X Tech. It was really easy to print with and I really like this color, uh, transparent green. Um, uh, if you want to try out a Petty, I would recommend this filament from the few tests I was able to do with the samples. This is not a full review of the filament, of course. <laughs> it's just uh, what I got to take out of the Megabox sample. And it was working very easy for me on my Prusa MK3 printer. Um, with the patchy settings in the slicer profile, printing at 230 degrees. Starting with 240 degrees on the bed. So this will be it for this video. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.